Welcome back to Travel Enthusiasts. Today we're embarking on an exciting journey through the heart of South America as we explore the 20 best places to visit in Bolivia. From breathtaking landscapes to rich cultural experiences, Bolivia has it all. Whether you're an adventure seeker history buff or simply looking for unique travel experiences, this list has something for everyone. So grab your virtual passport and let's dive into the beauty and wonder of Bolivia. But before we begin, make sure to hit that like button if you're ready to explore Bolivia with us. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you never miss an adventure. Now let's get started with our journey through the 20 best places to visit in Bolivia. Number 20. The El Semipata Ruins Perched in the eastern foothills of the Bolivian Andes, the El Semipata Ruins are a fusion of indigenous and Spanish cultures, often referred to as the Fortress. This archaeological site is shrouded in mystery, its carved rock surfaces sparking numerous theories about its purpose and origins. While its history might be enigmatic, its beauty is undeniable. Overlooking the lush valleys, the site offers panoramic views, making it a favorite spot for both history buffs and nature enthusiasts. The nearby town of Semipata, with its colonial charm and vibrant art scene, complements the experience ensuring visitors lead with cherished memories. Number 19, Sejima National Park. Nestled in the Oro Department, Sejima National Park borders Chile and is about 240 kilometers west of La Paz. With an area that spans approximately 1,000 square kilometers, this park proudly houses the highest peak in Bolivia, the dormant Nevado Sejima Volcano, which rises to a majestic 6,542 meters above sea level. It is renowned for its flourishing vicuna population Vicunus, one of the two wild South American camelids, was once on the brink of extinction due to rampant hunting, but they have made a dramatic comeback in recent decades. Thanks to rigorous conservation efforts, today, Sejima National Park offers a sanctuary to these delicate creatures, allowing them to thrive in their natural habitat. In addition to the Vicunus, the park's ecosystem is a mosaic of high-altitude lakes, hot springs, geysers, and vast puna grasslands, each offering refuge to diverse species. Number 18, Medibi National Park. Stretching from the Andean highlands to the Amazonian lowlands, Medibi National Park is a biodiverse wonder, encompassing a vast range of habitats, from tropical rainforests to grasslands. The park shelters an incredible array of wildlife, from jaguars and pumas to over 1,000 bird species. River cruises through the park's waterways offer intimate encounters with the Amazon's vibrant flora and fauna. The indigenous communities, living in harmony with nature, enhance the experience, sharing their age-old traditions and deep-rooted connection with the forest. Medivi is not merely a park, it's a living, breathing entity waiting to share its stories. Number 17. Parque Nacional Toro Toro Located in the heart of Bolivia, Toro Toro National Park is a geologist's dream and an adventurer's delight Famous for its ancient dinosaur footprints, deep canyons, and underground caves, the park invites visitors to journey through time and witness the Earth's evolutionary tales. Trekking through its landscapes, one might come across fossilized remains, stunning rock formations, or the roaring Virgil waterfall, the Umagilante Cavern, one of South America's most extensive cave systems, beckons the brave with its dark chambers and stalactite formations. A trip to Toro Toro is not just a visit. It's an adventure, each path leading to a new discovery. Though this is Bolivia's smallest national park, it has one of the country's main attractions, dinosaur footprints. In addition, the park includes hanging valleys and deep canyons, with some of the most breathtaking scenery travelers here say they have seen. The most visited parts of the park are the limestone caves and the pre-Inca fort named Lama Chaki. And any hikes will take visitors past the dinosaur footprints. Camping is permitted and there are a variety of hostels and other places to stay in Toro Toro Town. Number 16, Potosi, Bolivia. Once renowned as the richest city in the world due to its vast silver mines, 
Potosi stands as a testament to Bolivia's rich colonial history. Nestle at the foot of the Cerro Rico Mountain, this UNESCO World Heritage Site boasts a wealth of Spanish colonial architecture, reflecting its prosperous past. The Cerro Rico Mines, although stark reminders of colonial exploitation, offer a deep dive into the city's history, guided tours provide insights into the lives of miners and the city's silver boom. But Potosi is not just about its mines, its bustling markets, grand churches, and the National Mint offer a mosaic of experiences, each revealing a different facet of this fascinating city. One of the oldest mines in the Americas looms over the world's highest city, Potosi. Visitors can go to the National Mint, one of the most comprehensive museums of silver in the world, or just wander around the city and soak in its atmosphere. Some visitors choose to visit the mines at Cerro Rico, where they can see the grueling conditions in which the miners live and work. Number 15. The Youngest Beyond the infamous road lies the Yungus region itself, a transition zone where the Andes meet the Amazon. This area is characterized by cloud forests, terraced hills, and coffee plantations. The lush landscapes, rich in biodiversity, are a paradise for nature lovers. Hiking trails lead to hidden waterfalls, while the local communities offer a warm welcome, sharing their traditions and ways of life. A trip to the Yungus is not just about the scenic beauty, but an immersion in Bolivia's cultural tapestry. Between the Andes and the Amazon, the Yungus Valley has a subtropical climate that attracts visitors for a few days of relaxation after time in La Paz. Number 14. Cycle the World's Most Dangerous Road For adrenaline junkies, Bolivia presents the Yungus Road or Death Road, often dubbed as the world's most dangerous road. Descending from the high altitude of La Paz to the tropical town of Cuoico by mountain bike is an experience that many tourists want to add to their bucket list. This narrow path has sheer cliffs, sharp turns, and breathtaking views. While its reputation as death road might seem intimidating, cycling down this road is an exhilarating experience. Guided tours ensure safety while allowing thrill seekers to take in the panoramic vistas, cascading waterfalls, and the ever-changing landscape. An adventure on this road is a testament to Bolivia's diverse topography and is sure to leave an indelible mark. Number 13. Flamingos at Laguna, Colorado In the southwestern region of Bolivia lies the arresting Laguna, Colorado. This shallow salt lake with its reddish hues is a spectacle in itself. But what makes it truly special are the flocks of flamingos that make it their home, offering a striking contrast against the reddish backdrop. These elegant birds, seen feeding on the lake's rich minerals and tiny organisms, are a sight to behold, especially during sunrise when the area exudes a magical aura. The lake's unique color palette, combined with the mesmerizing dance of the flamingos, makes it a photographer's dream and a must-visit spot. Number 12. Dinosaurs of Sucre In the outskirts of Sucre, Bolivia's official capital, lies Cal Orco, a cliff showcasing thousands of dinosaur footprints, a relic of a bygone era. A visit here is like stepping back in time, offering a glimpse of these majestic creatures, once dominant presence. With tracks from over eight different species, including the T-Rex, it serves as a monumental record of the Cretaceous period. The nearby Cretaceous Park further elevates the experience with life-size replicas and interactive exhibits, ensuring that history enthusiasts and families find equal delight. Number 11. The Wildlife of Amboro National Park Located near Santa Cruz, Amboro National Park is a testament to Bolivia's biodiversity, spanning various ecosystems, from rainforests to cloud forests. The park is a sanctuary for an array of fauna, including jaguars, pumas, and over 800 bird species. The diverse landscapes offer thrilling hiking opportunities, with trails leading to cascading waterfalls and panoramic viewpoints. For those looking to truly understand the park's essence, guided tours reveal hidden gems and provide insights into the delicate balance of this ecological wonderland. Number 12. 
number 10, sell the Soliviana in the Amazon Basin. Country's most pristine and diverse ecosystems. Part of the larger Amazon Basin, this dense tropical rainforest harbors a world teeming with life, from elusive jaguars and playful spider monkeys to vibrant mancos, pinking the sky with their colors. The richness of this region isn't just in its wildlife. The indigenous communities, deeply rooted within the Selva Boliviana, carry the wisdom of the forest, living harmoniously with nature for generations. Visitors have the chance to not only witness the Amazon's breathtaking biodiversity, but also immerse themselves in the age-old traditions of its native inhabitants. Canoeing through its tranquil waterways, one gets a sense of the forest's vastness and mystery. Every rustle, every bird call, and every ray of sunlight filtering through the dense canopy tells a story of a world untouched by time. For those who truly want to experience the heart of the Amazon and appreciate the delicate balance of life within the Selva Soliviana is a destination like no other. Number 9. The Amazon Rainforest Nestled between multiple South American countries, Bolivia's slice of the Amazon rainforest beckons with its lush landscapes and unparalleled biodiversity. The Amazon rainforest is one of the top tourist attractions in all of South America, and no trip to Bolivia would be complete without seeing it. Venturing into this sprawling wilderness, travelers will uncover a realm where nature reigns supreme, vibrant flora and fauna fill every corner. With the cacophony of bird calls and the hushed whispers of the forest creating a symphony of life, Bolivia's portion of the Amazon jungle is a haven for adventurers and nature enthusiasts alike. Teeming with life, the Amazon's vast ecosystem offers visitors a rare chance to immerse themselves in a world dominated by dense forests, winding rivers, and an astounding variety of wildlife. River cruises leave from the town of Roraina Bay, step deep into the jungle to see river dolphins or the occasional caiman basking on the shores. The deeper one ventures, the more the rainforest reveals, from indigenous tribes preserving ancient traditions to rare bird species flitting through the canopy. Number 8. Ruins of Tuanaku As one of South America's most significant archaeological sites, the ancient city of Tuanaku provides insights into a civilization that thrived long before the Incan Empire. It is one of the seven UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Bolivia and one of the top tourist attractions in the country. This private tour is a great way to really explore the history and beauty at your own pace. Located near the southern shores of Lake Titicaca, the ruined city stands as a silent witness to the region's rich history. Intricately carved stonework, monumental statues, and sunken temples tell tales of the Tiwanaku people's ingenuity and spiritual beliefs. With a history spanning over a millennium, it's a destination that beckons history buffs and curious travelers to delve deep into Bolivia's pre-Columbian past. Number 7. Copacabana Nestled on the shores of Lake Titicaca, Copacabana is a gateway to the Isla del Sol, but it is worth spending some time on its own. Copacabana is a tranquil retreat reflecting Bolivia's deep-rooted spirituality and captivating natural beauty. With its whitewashed buildings and blue waters, the town feels almost Mediterranean, yet its essence is unmistakably Bolivian. The Basilica of Our Lady of Copacabana stands as the town's crown jewel drawing pilgrims and tourists alike with its ornate architecture and a revered statue of the Virgin Mary. As one wanders through the town's cobbled streets vibrant markets, brimming with local handicrafts beckon. While traditional eateries offer a taste of Bolivia's rich culinary heritage. But Copacabana's allure doesn't end with its streets, venturing to the Cerro Calvario, a hill overlooking the town provides panoramic views of Lake Titicaca, especially enchanting during sunset. You can book an organized tour from La Paz. This tour will take you from your hotel in the city center to the lakeside town of Copacabana. Visit Isla del Sol, its Inca ruins, and Lake Titicaca. Number 6. Isla del Sol 
Day trips from La Paz are popular to see Isla del Sol, and this private tour includes a boat trip to Isla del Sol, Copacabana. And highlights of Lake Titicaca at your own pace, however, you'll want to spend more time to see its Inca ruins and explore the lake's other sacred island, Isla de la Luna. Located on Lake Titicaca, Isla del Sol is a place of myths and legends. According to Incan folklore, it's here that the world began when the god Viracocha emerged from the waters and created the sun. The island is a sanctuary of tranquility, free from modern vehicles, and offers picturesque hiking trails that weave through ancient ruins and terraced hills. Number 5. Lake Titicaca One of the most popular things to do in Bolivia is the legendary Lake Titicaca. Resting at the crossroads of Bolivia and Peru, Lake Titicaca is a shimmering marvel, holding the title of the highest navigable lake in the world at 3,810 meters above sea level. But beyond its geographical records, it's the cultural richness and serenity that makes it a must-visit. You could book a day tour from La Paz, but to visit Lake Titicaca really requires a few days. This day tour is a good option if you have limited time. Vast expanses of blue waters are interspersed with islands, both natural and man-made, that preserve the ancient ways of life. From the floating Euros Islands, constructed entirely out of reeds, to the terrace landscapes of Isla del Sol, believed to be the birthplace of the Incan sun god Titicaca, is a blend of history, mythology, and unparalleled scenic beauty. Number 4. Val de la Luna Located just a short distance from La Paz Valle de la Luna, boasts a landscape that feels otherworldly eroded rock formations, with their intricate patterns and maze-like structures, give the place a surreal, moon-like appearance, hence its name, seeing Moon Valley at Sansu, is one of the top things to do in La Paz. Walking through Moon Valley during sunset is a transcendent experience. The soft light paints the rock formations in shades of gold and crimson, making the place come alive in a ride of colors. The tranquility combined with the dramatic scenery offers visitors a moment of reflection amidst nature's marvels. This tour includes a tour of La Paz the Cable Cars and the Valley of the Moon. Number 3. The Cable Cars in La Paz Perched at dizzying heights, La Paz is more than Bolivia's administrative capital. It's a city that offers a blend of old-world charm and modern-day dynamism. The city's skyline, a mixture of traditional red-brick homes and gleaming skyscrapers, is set against the backdrop of the looming Mount Illimani. The best way to see La Paz is to take a breathtaking ride on a cable car from La Paz to El Alto. These are the highest cable car system in the world and the top tourist attraction in La Paz. And for good reason, it offers unparalleled views of the city and the Cordillera Real Mountains. Number 2. La Paz With an elevation of 3,650 meters above sea level, La Paz is the highest capital city in the world. La Paz is a city of contrasts. From the busy witches' market around Sigarnaga Street to the tranquil Plaza Murillo, with its historic governmental buildings, the National Museum of Art exhibits Bolivia's art history, and the Bolivian Andean Textile Museum is a must-see for all interested in the beautiful weavings of the Andes. At night, make sure to check out Peinahuari on Sigarnaga for some traditional pipe music and dancing, or head to Alo Cubano on Anacedo R Street for some Cuban food and music venture into its bustling streets and markets, like the famous Lo Paz Witches Market, to discover a rich tapestry of culture and tradition. Whether admiring colonial architecture or tasting local delicacies, La Paz provides an urban experience like no other, balancing its historical roots with a contemporary beat. This private La Paz City tour is a great way to explore the highlights. Number 1. Sailor de Uyuni A tour of the Uyuni Salt Flats is the most popular thing to do in Bolivia. The Uyuni Salt Flats are the world's largest salt flats, where the white landscape stretches as far as the eye can see. 
There are one to seven day tours available, all of which take you out onto the salt flats to explore one or more of the weird and wonderful sights there. From thousand year old cacti to rare flamingos, gazing out over the Sailor de Uyuni is like stepping into a dream. The largest salt flat in the world stretches out in a vast expanse of white, creating illusions of an endless horizon. When filled with a thin layer of water, it becomes the world's largest mirror, reflecting the sky in a surreal spectacle. Beyond its natural beauty and otherworldly rock formations, the Uyuni salt flats have a vibrant ecosystem and are home to many flamingo species. A journey to the cellar is not just a visual feast, but a soulful experience, offering a glimpse of nature's artistic prowess. And there you have it, our whirlwind tour of the 20 best places to visit in Bolivia. From the dizzying heights of the Andes to the vibrant streets of Bolivia's cities, this country is a treasure trove of unforgettable experiences. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful in planning your Bolivian adventure, please give it a big thumbs up by hitting that like button below. And if you haven't already joined our travel community, make sure to subscribe for more exciting travel content. We love sharing our passion for travel with you, and your support means the world to us. So, until next time, keep exploring, keep adventuring, and keep making memories in this beautiful world of ours. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video, Safe Travels.